Welcome back to part two. Now that we have our cache variable uh, working, that you can actually use it and spend it, we want to spend it on weapons. So in order to do this, um, there's different ways you can do this, of course, but this seems to be like a more traditional way. Um, you're going to need something that you can interact with. You could use a volume, uh, but for aesthetic purposes, I'm going to be using just a panel. Okay. There we go. Um, and also, for aesthetic purposes, I am also going to be placing down a pressure plate. This is not required, I just do it because I like how it looks. Okay. Let's move that here. There. The reason I want that pressure, uh, sorry, pressure plate there is so that you will see, physically with your own eyes, where the weapon is going to be spawning. It's very clear. It's going to be right there on that platform. Uh, something else you need to do is with the panel is go to its properties and allow re, uh, reuse of it. So you can buy a weapon multiple times if you wanted to. Uh, this, or if you want to buy ammo or power-ups, you want to make that reusable so you can continue to, continue to buy it more than just only one time and then be locked out. Okay, so what are we going to do here? Well, on used, we're going to make this um, modify the cache variable. There, player resource. So, player resource, uh, cache, that is the resource that we're changing. And we're going to be spending that money. Okay. Now, something that you need to note here is that these little circles aren't just telling you what's happening. They actually have properties as well, which I'll get into in just a second. So, the cache um, reference here, this is just referencing the variable as a whole for the player. Okay, now, the money being spent is here. This is how much it's going to be getting spent. Now I'm going to set this to 750 in order to buy the weapon. There. Now it will be minusing 750 from your player's money. Um, now what's going to happen when that money is spent? Well, when the money is successfully spent, meaning that they actually had enough money, it is going to spawn a weapon. Now if you go to the spawner's uh, window here. You can see there's a spawn weapon piece. You're going to place that uh, onto the uh, pressure plate. Spawn object. Okay. There. It is going to be spawning the object in the explicit location, which is right where that pistol picture thing is there. Okay. Um, now what weapon is it going to be uh, spawning? Well, we're going to go to that, those properties and it's set to chain gun. You can change that. I'm just going to leave it just for this video. And there you go. So, um, press the button, spend 750 of resources, and if they have enough money, it's going to spawn the weapon at this location and the weapon is a chain gun. But what if they don't have enough money? Well, we're going to add another uh, logic chain here on if they fail to spend that money. Now, if they fail, we're going to display message, which is in the communication tab. Message. There we go. We're going to make that message show That's what's happening. Okay. Um, you want to display this to the activator only, so the person pressing the button is the only person that's going to be seeing that they don't have enough money for it. Uh, recipient filter, you can change this. Um, you don't need to, it's not required. Message, this is where you're going to set the message. Um, this is going to be the chain gun message. It's the only time you'll see a message from the uh, buying a chain gun if as if it uh, is failed. That's why I'm not adding any numbers or any other words. Uh, the message itself is going to be um, 
not enough money for chain gun. There, that's it. Three seconds is long enough. That's a good time. There we go. On you, spend the money from cash. If there is enough cash, it's going to spawn the weapon there. If they don't have enough cash, it is going to show them that they don't have enough cash. That's it. So let's test this out and see if it works. Okay, I have my thousand dollars. I'm gonna come over here, press F on the panel, and there is my chain gun. I now have 250 cash instead of a thousand, so exactly 750 was spent. And if I try to buy it again, I don't have enough money. Not enough money for chain gun. Perfect. Now something you should uh, you should do. Um, I don't want to say always. It's up to your preference, of course, your creator, but. You don't know what you're buying if you just walk up to this. It just says press F. You don't know how much it's going to cost. So something that I like to do is I like to go to the communications tab and create a uh, world text. And I put this right above the panel. And I set this text to say chain gun uh, $750. Okay. And I like to set uh, any text of mine that involves the money variable to be green. Uh, there we go. I also like to make it blink so it stands out more. And that's it. Now you know what you're buying. Um, maybe if I had to spend multiple resources you could definitely uh, make a, a larger chain and have two different colored texts here. Um, maybe just chain gun and then like, I don't know, 50 rubies in red and, and 20 sapphires in blue, uh, three emeralds in green. I don't know, whatever you want. Um, just some examples. But this is how you create a weapon spawning uh, function here. And thank you for watching part two.